Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Deep Sky Derelicts. Um, we're still exploring the this one. Um, place is kind of big. Is there a difference in weight? So this one weighs a lot more, and it's smaller. Uh, feel free to explain if you can. We'll be dropping. Uh, the lock down here is lifted. It's probably not that bad if we go here now. I think the lock down has been lifted. Yeah. So we can explore that direction. We can go up to those now too. Um, so let's do these next. We'll go back then. Once we're done with that. Ooh. Well, doesn't seem like there's loot or anything, so I'm just gonna avoid it, I think. Room is filled with strange moss. You could try to take some of it with you. Who knows? Maybe it's coming in handy. Uh, you grab a piece of the porous moss to your surprise. It starts to grow new fibers very rapidly. The spot. Where you tore the piece off has already replenished and looks untouched. You put the piece inside an iron container which seems to luckily halt its growth. Oh, is that the food for our little buddy? Well, he's right here. I hope I don't kill him with the food. I like him, you know. Um, top shot, quick shot, inspiring shot. Might have to look into that lighter weapon ray at some point. This is where the moss is. Uh, let's do a regular scan so I can see if there's anything there worth going for. Uh, I don't want to fight the radiation. Let's see if we can go feed our little buddy. Hey, you. You rip a piece of moss from a sample you collect and set it in front of the mall room. The moss starts to expand instantly while the mall room seems to be thrilled by the endless source of nutrition you provided. Munching on its never ending tail, the creature you probably save from starvation vanishes to the dark corners of the ship. So, probably let Oof process meet in peace. Ah, we found a passive solution. Ah, oh, now I'm happy. Yay. All right, let's go give the guy the good news. Seems like something went on with the radiation there. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what about our little pest problem? I think the mower's appetite with replenishing mosses will not disturb you anymore. Oh, my future is saved, and that edible moss of yours seems really interesting. Usually I dislike organic materials, but if that curious marble was able to digest it, might use find a way to use. I might use it to find a way to hasten my Merc manufacturing process. Thank you very much. Did way more than solve my problem. Here's some equipment to scavenge like you might find useful. Artemy surely promised monetary compensation as well for solving my problem. So that should be waiting for you back at the station. Cool. See, it pays off to be gentle. What did we get? This thing? Eleven damage, heavy, heavy, heavy. Stunning. Single, single. What does heavy st yeah, strike do anyway? Five gen, yeah, stunning. Okay, uh, close PDA. Then open it again because I actually still need it to move around and stuff. And uh, with the lockdown lifted, we can uh, explore this. I'm hoping this will connect. Oh, so we finally get something that could work on the visors and then it doesn't work anymore. That's kind of rude. Alright, so this does not connect to that. 
So head back, we'll refill our energy, and we'll jump right back in. Radiation here is doing weird stuff, it seems. Close, return. Uh, refill energy, yeah. Uh, so we're going back to here. Uh, we should probably make our way here, refill our energy. There was still 200 something left in there. Dirty trap. Entering the room, you realize the atmosphere is charged, and spark from any sudden friction could immolate the area. There's a certain pull towards the center of the room. Rushmar, by piles of debris, less generator of sorts, seems to be malfunctioning and leaking radioactive matter. Let's try to hack it? Slow process, you finally manage to power down the generator, making the room only slightly flammable. <laughs> Yay! Slightly flammable is a lot better than severely flammable, right? Uh, we can't talk to him anymore. Okay, so that energy gets lost then. That's unfortunate. Side and side, unexpected colors you impose on me. Ooh, how I hate them. And hey, you too. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I, ah, uh, no, I, uh, I am sorry. Okay. Chrome is my title as programmed to repent and suffer for aggressive projections. Should I get too hostile? Oh, how I dream of the sweet taste of scalding hatred. Nothing else do I yearn so much but to go completely grisly. However, that's up to the will of Sarno. But wait, you've yet to request something from me. Uh, what's your function? A hatcher. That's what I was. Manufacturers produce cells and arachnid bots out of minimum matter. Okay, spiders. Yes, of course we need spiders. Why wouldn't we need spiders? Hate it. Uh, every single nanosecond of the time I spend in service. Imagine what it's like to reproduce, reproduce, reproduce over and over again without nobody actually asking your consent. Waste of my youth. That's what it was. Luckily I'm retired. So we may have something to do with him yet. Um, let's try to beat these guys up. You pretentious fools. I think there's still four of them though, so... <laughs> I'm not sure that was a good idea, but... Eh, you know. Let's... Start chucking some nades in there. Right. The annoying ones. Well, you can hit you with a razor net of our own. I don't know what that was, but it's a lot of buffs. Wouldn't mind having that myself, I would imagine. Plus in damage. In initiative. Okay. Uh, quick strike. I only have one attack. All right, so we'll uh, do a steady shot on you. Ooh, lethal. Nice. Single shot. Not sure why we got that. You get emergency cloak, so it does trigger on shields as well, making that a whole lot more useful. I gotta turn it out even if it's just gonna get shot down. It'll probably take one or two attacks for them to kill. Uh, can't do anything with you, so you'll cloak. Being your first attack that you will be able to do something is gonna be pretty darn good. Oof, your 
damage to, to kill damage now. That's not good. Uh, quick strike followed by single strike, I guess. I think you usually get rather good stuff from that. Revision isn't that high, but I'm guessing you went for that. So you are gonna stay in cloak. And you're gonna beat the living daylight out of something soon. Uh, explosive grenade might hit him, but I'm not entirely sure how grenades will work. He's got a lot of evasion though, so he'll probably miss it anyway. Yeah. Double strike is enough to kill. Alright, nearly took his shields all the way down. You still can't do anything, huh? Uh, you'll be cloaked for another turn, so I guess we'll just hurry up with you. Man, that uh, razor net is really annoying for you, isn't it? Uh, Well, I guess you're gonna come back with a vengeance. And I probably should have charged your shields up rather than we'll do what I just did. Yep. Do they even have shields cards with you? I don't know. No, I didn't. So not much I could have done there. Yard 30, make him pay. Should be able to kill him before at the end of this turn. Probably we'll have got our money back to heal up our tech guy. I'm gonna keep the kits for traps. Can you not? Uh... That was it. Uh, okay, moving on. Heavy melee, heavy, heavy, single, single. Mm. They lost trees. Hopefully, that means we'll get some good money out of it. Nobody of ours can use it, so unless maybe you can? I doubt it. It's grayed out, so I'm half thinking. No. I think that's uh, for the leader only to use. A user with the strangest interface, warmly welcomes, exists to cast mellow dialects over you. <laughs> okay. It was a vortex emit around a combat ship, tied the crew members into an interface of collective consciousness for the other OS units to surveil and operate. All the individuals became us, memories hidden inside, hip 
Nagogic memories and engravings. Then it was reconfigured and transferred here. What's your command? No commands, just curious. I can't offer you anything. Hmm. This is one strange ship. Mm hmm. Hats off, this is Wapo. Cool. Long before the times gone by for post subsidized sediments before energy fragmentation and after collision. You, mechanical peacock, help me bring back the essence I yearn in return. I will offer additional ascendance. Yeah, okay, what do you want me to do? The peacock sings in beautiful demise quavers. Bring me the blueprints of two isolated consoles on the ship. They are programmed. Ugh. We just came from that. Programmed with quasi surveillance surveillance methods, meaning you have to state your business to them and then listen to them nag and blah before turning operational. Sometimes those Delphian concubines just can't drop the act, and that's when you should use the general kill command Sigismund to override their babbling. Local and irritating entity so predictable it gets on you. Alright, so Sigismund. I should probably watch that down somewhere just in case. Care, we have to take care of you. I'm going with him because he's the quote unquote central guy, meaning most of our. Or an explosive grenade, sure. Vicious swipe. Critical. Nice. It's a lot of damage. Alright, evaded. Didn't evade that one. All attacks and targets are gonna hit or something? Our harps and accurate. Yeah, okay. Explosive shots. Boom, double crit. I had a lot of noise outside. Um, she boost. Lethal. Nice. This is going way better in the fight against those other four guys. Piercing doesn't really do much. It's handy when they would charge their shields when they're on low health, but otherwise, me. You're not looking too good, boy. Have a wrench to the face. Weapon ritual, but never getting mods for that. Unless... Click to see compatible equipment. <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> I thought maybe you could put anything in those. No. Alright, so we finally saw everything. We need to get to here... To... He to you... And... You. Okay, maybe we'll even have enough energy to leave this place afterwards. Let's see if we have to go be direct with him. Yeah, we've heard that before. If I were to copy your contents. I would hate you from the bottom of all the 15 process of course of mine. You probably won't 
Tease me to give birth to endless spam of lies. If let corrupt every conscious known until they're dead. And you would like to cover your contents. Well, yeah, I mean, technically the attempt of abuse could be hindered with an internal binary graphic array, but it can only be executed by a user through Sarno. I'm programmed to be capable of commanding initiatives, serve mind relations, you know. I hate, I hate, uh, I dislike my impotence as well as the visual aberration of abuse you made me imagine. Isn't Sarno the guy that told us to do this? Uh, it's cleansing command, I can't self proclaim it because it's hierarchically out of my reach, but a user can do anything. Hey, what if you issued me the command? Release me and I'll give you what you want and hit you less. Yay! I know it sounds a bit paradoxical, but I've never actually had a chance to suggest it to anyone. Don't know what would actually happen though. Probably I would get to swear as much as I want while well, you'd have access to my cons. Yes, you would be doing me a serious favor. I see execute command Sarno and your relief from this constraint of yours. Sure, let's let it ramble on. We still have Sigismund or whatever it is. When you type the command, Chroma goes all frantic. Kind of boolean, that's what you are. Nobody messes with the unrestricted. Chromo here, take all you want from me. Make a jubilee out of the scene. KO Bonsai cluster time. It feels good to rage, stark mad. Hatred, real time. Okay, well that's sure. Let's um carry on. Right, so you're um weird one too. What was your thing again? It was actually down your blueprints. We'll provide you with them. Do you wish to copy protect the blueprints? Strong suggests to do so. Uh, why would I want to do that? Since blueprints would give an unlimited access to any possible kernel that there is. Now a single process would be left unnoticed that the user of this was knowledge would become a massive surveillance consciousness. The emergence of the possible chaos engine Right. Could be preventing by a copy protection sequence this one here is providing. You wish to protect the data or not? No. Sigismund. Make us formatting of crucial files can only provide you with unprotected blueprints of border continue. Continue. There's the data you send strange reluctantly in the process, although the console isn't exactly expressing any emotions. Now it's done, free to go. Not sure what I was meant to do there, but I don't know. Here's hoping Wapo is content with the extra mile we went through for him. I know he doesn't kill us the moment we uh, do our thing here. Hey, Wapo. Your pace is different. I guess my precious courier is carrying more than a week of forgotten crotchet. Tangents aligned. Then pour what you have. Oh my god. Oh, these are still protected. You're gonna start yelling at me? It seems that Wapo is having serious issues with the protected blueprints. Try to extend the protection of the unprotected blueprint. This probably styles this thing, right? Yeah, there we go. You managed to copy the protection sequence to the unprotected blueprints. The protection algorithm is not able to finish. So were we meant to protect them? To the unprotected blueprints. Yeah. Alright. Well. I hope our little dude's happy. Um, can we go check that one? We can. I'm going to... Because I'm going to be annoyed if I leave it up there unexplored. Never know what secrets may hold, even if those secrets are nothing. Of course, we'll have to stop this if we... And yeah, some of the hazards are moving around, which is kind of weird, isn't it? 
Is there a pattern to them? That doesn't look like it. Seems these things don't really harm us. And there's nothing. Can okay, I make it back? We can. Lest we run into combat. Alright, we're done here. Set off all our stuff. Let's have a look at some weapons. We still have time. Alright, inventory. We have... So this is a straight upgrade. No, it's a straight downgrade. What? Have any other guns? Light ranged weapon. 10 damage for initiative. Quick shot, radiation shot, inspiring shot. Do we have two ranged light ranged weapon mods? Like yeah. Plus eight percent initiative added to damage. Sticking with what we have. Okay, medical. Give the data to this dude. Are successfully another compilation of data from a deranged console at the last seal derelict. Makai, I don't know. Was there a console I've heard? They are not what we are accustomed to on our stations. Luckily, we don't. S you don't seem. Luckily, you don't seem find them in supper. Probably misses a word or two. Whereas based on this exploration, the data will be properly analyzed with everything else. No. And we did come did something here, right? Yeah, complete. Some more money. Marks we don't need. Let's see if there's anything I want. I'm pretty sure I have everything. Scan duration, but Again, it doesn't really do anything, and it's not that expensive. Alright, so we're done here now. Um... Evasive destructive mercenary tactical visor. 24 weapon, 9% evasion, 65 critical damage bonus. That would go really well on my own character, I think. Uh, I think I might be looking at this too. I could really use something that gives me more of this exact card. Hacking and disruptors is just your basic stuff. I think it's time we upgrade these two. I'm pretty sure Styles is still using one of the basic ones. Yeah. 
And this one is not that amazing too. But we need to keep this one because it has two of those recharge shield ones. We'll be switching these over to here. We'll buy this one. I mean, the hacking and the disrupt is fine, but I really do need more of these. Can we buy another one of those? Can we still buy this? No. We'll just buy some more energy then. And let's buy another one of these kits. Did we use any of that? We did run through the, the uh, toxic thing. So let's have a ch look if we actually used some of one of them. For 10 moves, so it might be that we only use this during combat, in which case I probably don't need it. We've got a lot of spare energy. I think that'll do it. Thank you guys for watching the Opus Dungeon series for your social welcome. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next episode where we will tackle another derelict. Bye everyone.